Hi guys, this little project for Mike Rogers. I'm using my HTC One Mini mobile phone to record this because I can't be bothered to go downstairs and get my proper camera. Got a needle, got a hard drive platter, so that's the disc from inside a hard drive. Got a plastic bottle top. I don't know if we've focused on that. Let's see if that's any better. Okay, plastic bottle top that's got a convenient little dimple in the middle so we can find the center. I've got some super glue. So I'm going to push the needle through that dimple and glue the plastic bottle top to the middle of the hard drive platter. Then I'm going to suspend it and see if I can spin it using the magnets in the end of this little fan or at least it was a fan but I've got two neodymium magnets in the end of it so at the moment they don't attract that disc at all uh, they do attract the needle so <laughs> I can't get rid of it with one hand so that's what I'll do. I'll stick it together and see if I can spin it up using the magnet. And Lenz's Law and Faraday, I think it is. can't remember. You'll have to look up the details why it works. So there we are. Plastic bottle top, glued to the hard drive platter, needle through the middle, suspended from that magnet. Sorry about my hands moving around and the focus going. So that hard drive platter is replacing the um, whatever we want to call this plastic jar with the copper on it. So I believe this is aluminium. And if we put my magnets on top of it nothing happens, but if I start, start them spinning and there we go. I guess what I ought to do is draw a line on that so we can see that it is going round because it's a bit difficult to see it with a nice disc like that. So I'll get my pen and put a mark on it. There we go, I've drawn a line on it, not very straight but it's on there. So the disc is just gently rocking backwards and forwards at the moment. So hold this up on top so the magnets are spinning round. I'll hold it down there so you can see it's not touching. see my line because it's moving too quickly. Maybe I'll better make that line a bit bigger. And see it there. I've drawn I've drawn or sc scribbled over half the disc now. So. Just so you can see, the magnet's nowhere near the actual disc. Obviously I haven't balanced it very well, I'm not worried about that, I'm just demonstrating that we can spin an aluminium disc using magnets.
builds up quite a good speed, doesn't it? Just slow it down. There we go. If I can position the magnets underneath, it should spin the opposite direction. I haven't really... Oh, I know. I'll just lift it up on the needle. All, right, all we've got, just for information, there's a screw there with a crosshead on it. That's what the needle sits on. That holds it in place at the bottom, and that's a magnet at the top end that's holding it in place at the top and now I should have enough room to get underneath with the spinning magnets so let's try that again it should go the opposite direction now right, touching the wood so that's one way Put it on top slows it down, starts it going the other way. Underneath, slows it down, goes the other way. On top, slows it down, goes the other way. Job done. If you want to find out how it works, you'll have to look it up yourself. But Lenz's Law is a good start.